<clears throat> okay, so I got the ham hocks in my big Dutch oven. I love this Dutch oven. It was big enough for a turkey. It is super cold out here, guys. So, I greased my pan, or Dutch oven. I got my ham hocks in there. You can use whatever you want for your beans. But I'm also going to put some of this Angry Orchard Naughty Pear in there. That is just to give it that broth and everything some flavor, help tenderize the meat a little bit. Mmm, that is gonna be good. And we'll be back. Okay, so then I put 16 ounces or one pound of black eyed peas in here, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder in here. I'm gonna just kind of have to try to mix it all up in here. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing, guys. There we go. Alright, we're going to let it kind of absorb everything, and then we're going to be back. We are going to add some chicken broth to this in a little while, just not quite yet. So I had been using um, apple, but I'm using alder today, and it's pretty cool. I didn't realize that these say good for anything. Great for beef, chicken, pork, fish, bread, mm, and vegetables. So I thought that was kind of cool, but that's the pellets I'm using today to smoke this. Okay, now I'm going to pour in this chicken broth. Let that cook. It's cooking at 250 right now. Alright guys, this is an hour and a half in and look, you can tell the ham has fallen off these bones. The bones are exposed compared to how they were. It looks so good. Mm. But now I'm going to add the bacon and the leftover cilantro and leeks from last night. Just because I don't want them to go to waste. It's not going to hurt it, it's just going to add flavor to it. And then I'm going to go inside and chop up some onion and some garlic and some bell pepper. Or not bell pepper, um, jalapeno pepper. My bad, not bell pepper. But let all this yummy, yummy, yummy goodness soak in here. Oh, that, oh my gosh, it smells so good. You can see like the ham is just pork is just coming off those ham hocks. Good. Okay, in this bowl I have carrots, onions, and jalapenos. I'm going to put all this inside of that pot and then I gotta go get the garlic ready to go in there. But um, if you don't like jalapenos, leave the peppers out. Or if they're too spicy, use a bell pepper or use a can of green um, green chilies. Those would be good too. I'm going to put them inside the trigger here. Inside this pot. Oh my god. I wish you guys could smell this. It just smells amazing. All that in there. I'm going to mix it all up and get the garlic in there and then I'm going to put the lid on. You guys all know how much I like my garlic grater. Or not greater. <laughs> Peeler. It's all, oh, it slipped over here. All peeled. And I love my greater plate. Oops.
Charlotte. Yum. Okay, well, I just take my little tiny spatula and I just scrape it in there. It came with like a little brush, but my it broke. I used it so much it just broke. But this spatula gets the job done. Myself. All right. It's hot. And this is a heat. Re um, it's a heat spatula, guys. So don't worry. It's not gonna melt. All right. Let's go get the lid, and then I'm gonna go to the gym after that. All right, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Putting my lid on. Oh. Hard for you guys to see, hold on one second. There we go. It's not all the way on. But, there you go. Okay, now I'm going to the gym. Okay. So then this is the corn cake mixture. Two cups cornmeal, uh, half a cup of flour, four teaspoons baking soda, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, two eggs, and one and a half cups of milk. And then whisk it all together. Okay, for the corn cakes, I just take a spoonful, drop it in the cast iron skillet. And wait for it to start getting golden brown. This one looks like it's almost ready to flip. And then we flip it. Oh yeah, that's good eating. Mm. Okay, so all the corn cakes are done. And now I'm going to uh, peel the greens to add the last ingredient to the beans. And again, before I peel them, I have them soaking in the water with the apple cider vinegar to help kill anything that's on them that might not be good for us. Okay, I got most of the greens all peeled off the stem. This is what it looks like. You just wanna peel the greens off the stem because the stem is super fibrous. You don't really wanna, well, you could eat it, I guess, but I don't particularly like it. All right, guys, now you can see that the meat is just falling off this bone and it's super tender. And now I'm going to put the greens in and the greens will cook down because see it's still bubbling. This will still cook. Okay, so here we go. I'm dumping all the collard greens in. Or not collard greens, but the greens in. I uh, took all the bones out so they're out. Now we're going to mix this all up. I told you this will cook down. It's still hot. Some people like to add it before. I like to, um, you know, while it's still bubbling, but I like to add it last. So it's still, it's not super soggy. Alright, and that's it. That is my... Twist on cowboy black eyed pea beans. And they've been smoked in the Traeger. Hope you all like this video. Like and subscribe if you did. And tune in next time.